So this video is about binary overflow. Overflow is something that happens because a computer only has a certain number of bits to hold a number. You might sometimes have heard as a processor described as 16 bit, 32 bit, 64 bit, or even 128 bit. This is, it's a little bit more complicated, but for the moment, I will say it's the number of bits that are used to hold data in the processor. There are some little workarounds, there's some exceptions, but think about it as the number of bits that are used to hold data in the processor. So, a 16-bit computer has 16 different bits. So, it has 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. That's the first 8 bits, and then it carries on 256, 512, 1024, all the way up to the end. So, we have 16 different bits. We're just going to look at 8 bits for today. So, I'm going to get rid of the extra bits. There are our 8 bits. So, we have a number. And let's say we have this number. We have uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So that is the number 255. Now, what happens when we want to add 1 to it? Well, we do our addition, same as usual. 1 and 1 is 0, carry 1. 1 and 1, 0, carry 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 1. Uh-oh. We don't actually have another bit here to represent it. So, one of a few things can happen. First of all, the computer can say, error. It usually says something indeed like overflow error. So, overflow error is when there's not enough bits to hold the result of a calculation. However, sometimes, perhaps we just don't care. Perhaps we just go right back to the beginning and lose the extra bit. This can happen in some systems which are to do with negative numbers. The main thing with binary overflow is that the result of the calculation, if you're using normal binary, is an error because we can't contain it. 